Hi everyone. Today I just want to go through a really quick demonstration on how to add a Xbox 360 game controller to your Pi games. I bought this game controller on eBay. As you can see here, cost me only 10.49 and it's just a generic Xbox 360 compatible game controller. We'll be utilizing these buttons and this joystick. Let's get started. Okay, I'm not going to be typing out, I'll be just explaining line by line. So let's import Pygames. What Pygames? Let's initialize Pygames. Let's create two color variables, white and red. Let's create the game surface. So this is our object, game display, and we'll be calling this method to create a screen of size dimension 8 by 600 let's create the caption this is going to be the name or title that's going to appear at the top of the game oh <clears throat> I'll call it control do a quick update you don't after here but I'll do it anyways let's uh, create a boolean variable to exit the we'll use that to exit the game and let's create x and y dimension this is where we're going to place the player in the game all right let's work on the joystick first we create a list create your list we create our clock object. This is going to give us our timing for the game to synchronize the movements in the game. All right, let's load out all the controllers available in Pygame. Load out those controllers, add it to the list. See here, we are pending. We are pending. Uh, the controllers to the joystick list. Let us now look for the ports. We're looking at all the ports. We're going to scan the ports. This negative one means we're going to scan it to infinite. In, uh, um, it's forever, basically. <laughs> look forever looking at the ports all right it's a generic joystick but you can put this here if you want once the joystick is detected it give you the name of the joystick my joystick is generic so it's not gonna have a brand let's let's do the game loop while not game exit let's set up our clock ticks this is how fast the game would be going moving the movements in the game now let's set up our event handler first first event I'm going to put in is the quit event so when I hit the, this quit object, you can look up the documentation in Pygames for event handling, uh, which is looking for events from your keyboard or from a joystick or from a mouse, from input devices. This quit member here of that class would 
gives you the ability to use this close out X here that closes out the screen. All right, I'm now going to uh, enter the events for the joystick since we'll be using the joy buttons. Remember the four buttons I showed you earlier? <coughs> and these joy buttons, they eat <coughs> just like with a keyboard, when you press a key on the keyboard, you actually what gets sent to the to the system is the ASCII equivalent of that keyboard, the decimal equivalent of the key that you press. It's the same thing with your joystick. So when you press one of the buttons you get 0, 2, 3, and 1. So it's going to look for those values and then move the player 10 position, 10 pixel left, right, up, or down. Alright, let us now fill the screen with red. This is going to be a background color. Let's put in the player. So it's just going to be a simple rectangle. It's going to be placed on game display object. It's going to be white. It's going to be placed at this position X, this position Y. Dimensions going to be 20 by 20 pixels. Once you've done all that, you have to refresh the screen again. Otherwise, it's not going to display the new updates. Then, when it is called, when you jump out of the loop, you have to close by games, close the window, and quit pie games. All right, let's run it and see what happens. Save, run. There it is. And there you have it. Cool. That's the buttons. Those are the buttons. And this is the joystick, which in the documentation they call it axis. It's the axis member, but we are able to use it somehow. It's connected to the buttons. Only that one. We can't use the second joystick. The second joystick doesn't work because that is connected to the access member. Access. When you check the documentation for input devices and joysticks. All right, it works good. Now you can, you don't have to depend on your keys anymore to make your games. Now you can attach your Xbox 360 joystick and have fun. Yeah. That's the joystick that was detected. It's a generic. All right, guys. Have fun.